heads up. This is a formant sweep filter rack. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know that you can do formant sweeps with just any EQ as long as you know um, how to set it up. And uh, if you see here in your Ableton library, they've got this folder that says formant, and it's got all of these uh, presets there. And so you can get those to, uh, you know, to do those types of sounds. But what you got to do is, okay, so there's the, all right, that's the basic shape. Now you just have to get that to move across the spectrum in the same approximate shape. And the way that you do that is um, in the map mode for the particular one you're on. You can see all these different frequencies have been particularly mapped, which makes sure that it keeps its approximate shape as it travels up the spectrum. So I went through and I did that for all of the uh, all the vowel sounds, and I also did one in the down direction. So you can do, you know, this, which is... You know, which is the same thing, but going down. I just thought it would be good for there to be a, a midway point. Um, yeah, so this is uh, your vocal selector. And of course, you gotta turn it Cool. And then, uh, so everything's off. It's basically dry when it's at zero. And then when you turn it on to one, then you get your vocal. So that's important to know. Now, um, really where you're getting a lot of this sound is the Redux plugin. That's what we sound like. That's with the Redux plugin off. Sounds better when you get the Redux on. You know, that's how the big boys do it. Maybe go like this. Anyway, you can mix in the dry. Um, but this rack took, uh, took a little bit of time. But I've been enjoying it, and it's nice to have it just to... Uh, you know, to drag it in anytime you want to do uh, some type of form and sweep stuff. And if you don't have, uh, there are plenty of VSTs that do this. But if you don't have one, boom! Now you're set. All right. Thanks for watching.